Good morning. Uh, just uh, reading this uh, Old Testament book of uh, Samuel and uh, uh, this, these characters you meet, the King Saul and the David. And man is a spiritual being. But because of the fall, uh, the spirit is inactive. But we have a soul and a body. In our ministry, we say that you're not a soulish Christian. Often, many, often times we fell into that category many times in our lives. Soulish relationship, soulish decision. And, uh, but we have something different. We have the spirit. We have the human spirit and uh, where the Holy Spirit dwells in them. And this is an amazing thing to consider. And I was reading this uh, first Samuel, uh, how Saul was anointed as the king of Israel. He didn't have any idea. But there was something happened. His father lost the donkeys. So in first Samuel chapter nine, he was in search. Uh, so he sent his son Saul uh, to search the donkeys. And uh, he went like a Saul and his servant uh, went throughout the mountains and land of Benjamites and different places. I think of many days, two or three days it took. And they were about to return back. And then uh, the servant said, there is a prophet here, Samuel. And uh, they met Samuel and Samuel stayed, uh, they, Samuel requested him to stay with him. And the next day, he was, Saul was privately anointed as the king, the spirit king. And I, I believe sometimes in our life today, there can be disturbances can come. It is not in my schedule. I want to say that we are spiritual beings. We are spiritual men, spiritual women. And uh, as that's in everyday life. It's not in a on, only at the prayer time or only at the uh, church gatherings, but I think that is it is that we I am a spiritual man. I'm a spiritual man or a woman, even in my uh, routine things which I'm doing it, sitting before the computer doing the work. I'm a spiritual man. I'm a spiritual woman. King Saul soon like lost the track. He lost it. Like in his life now, was totally he was occupied with another man, David. His eyes were always like you can see only David, who is threatening his life. And uh, he's always after him, running after David. David is running away from Saul. But David had something. David has Psalms as he's running. He had Psalms and he looks back and he sees Saul is coming with his men. And the death is so close, he knew that. But then he, he has God. He knew that I'm a spiritual man. I can cry to the Lord. And this is important in our life today. You make a, there are some kind of disturbances can come today in your life. But this is important. I am a spiritual man. I have God. I have his word. I can think with God. This is a, an amazing thing. In Proverbs chapter 20, uh, 25, 28 says that whoever has no rule over his son's spirit is like a city broken down without walls. Uh, this is a great verse. Like who is going to irritate me? Like Haman was in a very powerful man in Esther's kingdom. In that story, Haman is very powerful, next to the king. But one man, Mordecai, because he's not paying, not he's not paying homage to uh, to Haman. That literally disturbed Haman. He couldn't sleep. He's occupied with that. He's occupied. But we 
like uh, this man is like a man who is a city which is broken down walls are broken down it's like in nehemiah's story there is a city jerusalem but there is no walls king saul has no wall he's a mighty man he's a, like a good personality but he has no rule over his spirit he's not a, like a he's not taking the authority as he was an anointed by god and i think this is important like a building that walls by prayer as i said like we may face today some kind of disturbances like that's unavoidable but we can do it by prayer we can do it by praise we can do it by thinking with god turning our eyes to the lord and uh, may not uh, that uh, that situations may not change but we know one thing i am a spiritual man david is running that situation didn't change but he has psalms but there is a character is forming in his life and uh, is is that character who is needed in the future years when he is going to rule the kingdom maybe this the tri trials temptations or whatever we go through it is it is a amazing thing for uh, in our spiritual formation we are a city which has walls building up may god bless this morning in jesus name we pray amen